The project we proposed library management that was developed to manage the daily book transaction and manage the member book records more efficiently. It can improve the management of the book property in the library. This library management system is mainly used by a librarian and a librarian admin. Normal librarian is able to manage the member maintenance model, book maintenance model and also most important model in the library which is the book transaction model. Besides that a library management system allows allows user to manage the publisher as well as lost book model. On the other hand, other type of the users which is admin level staff is able to handle the staff model and view the report model. The model included in our projects are admin, library, staff and student. Let's start from the admin model. Admin can log in into our system and can add, edit, delete the book details and user details. The reports can be generated easily based on their requirements. He can communicate with other users by using internal mailing system. He can block the user temporarily and reactivate them. He can view the details of the book users and staff details at any time. He can easily detect the wrong data and frauds occurs in the library. The data flow diagram of the admin is shown below. The next module would be the librarian module. The librarian can add the books and the user details. He can fix the time limit to return the book based on their category and can check the status of the book based on their return date. He can set the rules for lending books. He can check the availability of the requested books and approve the user to get the requested book with the specific limit time. He can view the book requests and feedbacks posted by the users and take necessary action. He can update his personal information easily and maintain the stock. The data flow diagram for the librarian is shown below. The next module would be the student and staff model. The internal user can get the books from the library for their own use. He can search for books by visiting our sites. He can edit his personal details easily. He can send requests for a specific book to the library by checking their availability. He can post their views in the control panel. The data flow diagram for the student and staff is shown below. The overall data flow diagram for the project is shown below. Next would be the demo of the project. Hi and welcome to clickmyproject.com. This video is all about explaining the project description, workflow and demo of the project library management. Let's start from the project description. The project we proposed library management that was developed to manage the daily book transaction and manage the member book records more efficiently. It can improve the management of the book property in the library. This library management system is mainly used by a librarian and a librarian admin. Normal librarian is able to manage the member maintenance model, book maintenance model and also most important model in the library, which is the book transaction model. Besides that, a library management system allows, allows users to manage the publisher as well as lost book model. On the other hand, other type of the users, which is admin level, staff is able to handle the staff model and view the report model. The model included in our projects are admin, library, staff and student. Let's start from the admin model. Admin can log in into our system and can add, edit, delete the book details and user details. The reports can be generated easily based on their requirements. He can communicate with other users by using internal mailing system. He can block the user temporarily and reactivate them. He can view the details of the book users and staff details at any time. He can easily detect the wrong data and frauds occurs in the library. The data flow diagram of the admin is shown below. The next module would be the librarian model. The librarian can add the books and the user details. He can fix the time limit to return the book based on the category and can check the status of the book based on the return date. He can set the rules for lending books. He can check the availability of the requested books and approve the user to get the requested book with the specific limit time.
He can view the book requests and feedbacks posted by the users and take necessary action. He can update his personal information easily and maintain the stock. The data flow diagram for the librarian is shown below. The next module would be the student and staff model. The internal user can get the books from the library for their own use. He can search for books by visiting our sites. He can edit his personal details easily. He can send requests for a specific book to the library by checking their availability. He can post their views in the control panel. The data flow diagram for the student and staff is shown below. The overall data flow diagram for the project is shown below. Next would be the demo of the project. This would be the home page for the library management, which contains home page, login and the content text pages. In home page, it contains the latest news about us and futures, which can be viewed to the end users. In content text page, it contains the content text details, which can be viewed to the end users. By clicking on the login, the, the users can login into our system and can access a service offered to them. The user model includes admin, librarian, and staff and students. Let's start from the admin model. The username for the admin is admin and the password is 123. By clicking on the login button, admin can login into our system and can access the service offered to him. The first page would be the home page which contains the profile details of the admin. He can update or change the password anytime. The services offered to the admins are dashboard, site details, staff details, student details, and the action. By clicking on the site details, admin can add about us, content as news and futures, which can be viewed to the end users. By clicking on the staff details, admin can add staff details. By clicking on the view staff details, admin can view the staff which has been already created by him. By clicking on the student details, admin can add student and view student details. By clicking on the update button, admin can update their own their profile details. By clicking on delete icon, admin can delete the student details. By clicking on action, admin can allow or block staff to login. By clicking on block students, admin can allow or block students from login. By clicking on the logout, admin can logout from our system. The next module would be the library. The username for the library is EMP102 and the password is EMP123. By clicking on the login button, the librarian can login into our system and can access the service offered to him. The first page would be the dashboard page which contains the profile details of the librarian. He can update or change the password anytime. The services offered to the librarian are dashboard, book details, book lending, setting rules and message. By clicking on the book details, the librarian can add book details. By clicking on the view book details, admin can view the books which has been already created to him. He can also view the book details and can also delete the book details. By clicking on the book landing, the admin can view the request which has been sent by the staff or student for lending books. By clicking on the staff, the admin can view the request from the staff for asking the lending books. By clicking on the student, admin can view the students requesting for lending books. It also contains an alert system which alerts the staff or students which need to return on the current date. By which the inaction menu it shows the new request approved and rejected and book delivered. By clicking on setting rules, Librarian can set the rules which can be viewed to the students. The librarian has a message service from which he can compose the mail to the students or staff. He can also view the inbox mails, sent mails and trash mails. By clicking on the logout, the librarian can logout from our system. The next model would be the staff and student. Let's start from the staff model. The username for the staff is EMP101, the password is EMP123. By clicking on the login button, each individual staff can login into our system and can access the service. This would be the home page for the staff which contains a profile details, update profile and change password. The services offered to the staffs are search, lending and the messages. By clicking on the search, 
the staff can search the books by department wise book title wise or book author wise by clicking on the department the staff has a choice on choosing the category department name for example computer science we produce the results which are available to the computer departments along with the available of the book quantities we get the staff can choose at the books and then confirm it by submitting it which would alert the librarian for lending book from the staff by clicking on the lending the staff can view the history which has already been lended and the book written by him book written approved waiting for our approval this two two entries which have been created now it says the status as waiting for approval when the librarian sees it and uh, approve the lending request the status would be updated as up approved after the book has been returned to the library the status would be returned as book returned the staff also has a message service by which the staff can compose a mail inbox sent and flash mail service by clicking on the logout the staff can log out from our system thank you for watching this video